Okay, in this video I'm going to demonstrate some stretches and exercises that you can do to hopefully reduce the size of a bulging disc. Now, as the post mentions, uh, there's different levels of disc bulging. Disc bulge is a generic term. It doesn't really say much because normally the disc should bulge out somewhat. What matters is if there's any injury to the tissues and if there's any nerve tissue that's being obstructed by the disc bulge itself. The ideal candidates for this type of treatment will be those who have just recently had a disc bulge and there's still a possibility for that uh, to do some exercises to have that disc bulge gravitate back to the center. One exercise you want to try is bringing your knees to your chest and pulling up like this and curling your back into flexion. Pull it really tight till you get a good stretch in your lower back. Try getting a, a Swiss ball like this, blow it up and lie down on top of it so the offending disc is right at the top. And what this will do is the weight of your torso will stretch it this way, the weight of your legs will pull this way, and you'll get a gravity uh, traction to your discs. Okay, another exercise to do is lateral flexion of the spine away from the painful side. Now disc herniations are either left or right, and that is because there's a tough, broad ligament that connects the backs of the vertebral body together in the whole spine, so the discs will push out backwards and to the left or the right. Here's an example what I'm talking about. This plastic model shows a disc bulge that is to the right. Now this is the back, facing the back and you can see how it illustrates that. Now the logic is that if you can do some side bending exercises this way, you can see that that movement can open up the disc on that side and if you keep doing it in this fashion could create a pumping action that hopefully can draw some of that disc material back to the center. And uh, those exercises would look something like this. This is to say that I have a disc bulge on the right side. You're going to want to go to the left. You could even go a little bit anterior too at this angle. Okay. So just bend forward like that, stretch it. Obviously, you don't want to do this uh, if it's going to cause a significant amount of increased pain. If you sense that, hold off on doing that, ice your back, and as the level of pain goes down, you could... Okay, okay, so these exercises are flexion, flexion exercises, and that's what you want to do initially to start off. The idea is to open up that disc space and get the bulge material to gravitate back to the center. Now, uh, once the pain level has gone down somewhat, you can attempt doing extension exercises. Now, extension exercises are the opposite. It's when you're bending backwards. The logic there is that the pinching of the vertebral bodies can push the disc bulge more back, more back into the center. And straight, put your palms behind your lower back and push out and arch your back very slowly till it stops and then come back slowly also. Okay, and then again, push forward slowly into extension, and visualize the backs of those vertebrae pushing the disc back to the center, and come up slowly. So, that's gonna look like this. That disc is gonna be pushed back in the center, just like that. 
Okay, alternatively for the extension exercise, you could do it lying prone. And uh, this is called the cobra position in yoga. Make a triangle with your hands, put it on your chest, and push up like this. All you're doing is locking your elbows, getting a nice extension in your lower back. Back down. Push up. And back down. Okay, for the extension exercises, you don't have to do that many. I would say uh, half of the amount as you would of the flexion exercises because they're pretty intense. And again, if they cause too much pain or increased pain, you want to stop and ice and wait until the, uh, the pain level is down to the point where you can do these exercises comfortably.